In early 2023, 68 passengers and four crew set out on a routine flight between Nepal's two largest cities. But what would appear to be an unthinkable mistake by an experienced pilot meant they would never make their destination. This is the story of Yeti Airlines Flight 691. On the 29th of May 2022, only seven months prior to Yeti Airlines Flight 691 crashing into the ground near Pokhara, 22 people died when a de Havilland Canada Twin Otter aircraft operated by Tara Air for Yeti Airlines crashed into a mountain in the Mustang district. While the official cause of the accident was poor weather, this was just one in a string of major aviation incidents in the country's recent history. Since the year 2000, Nepal has recorded at least 350 casualties associated with planes and helicopters. While Nepal's aviation industry has made significant efforts to improve the country's safety record, unfortunately, the statistics on the ground show there is still much work to be done. Although a lack of investment in aging aircraft is one of the more significant challenges in the country's aviation sector, it's not the only factor. According to a 2019 safety report from Nepal's Civil Aviation Authority, the country's hostile topography is a huge challenge facing pilots. Home to 29 million people, Nepal has eight of the world's 14 highest mountains, including Mount Everest. Combining the topography with poor weather and pilots that haven't always followed protocol has led to several deadly accidents. On the 24th of February 2016, another Tara Air de Havilland Canada Twin Otter aircraft en route from Pokhara to Johnson crashed into a mountain when the pilots deviated off course in poor visibility, resulting in the loss of all 23 on board. And in early 2018, a US Bangla Airlines flight from Dhaka to Kathmandu crashed on landing and caught fire, killing 51 of the 71 people on board. In December 2013, concerns over safety led to the European Union banning all Nepal Airlines from operating within its airspace, a ban that, as of May 2023, is still in place. On the 15th of January 2023, 44-year-old Captain Anju Katiwada was undergoing runway certification training for the newly opened airport at Pokhara. Observing her from the right-hand seat was 58-year-old senior training captain Kamal KC. Captain Katiwada was the wife of another Yeti Airlines pilot killed in a crash in 2006. At around 10.30 a.m., Yeti Airlines Flight 691 took off from Tripuvan International Airport in Kathmandu bound for Pokhara with 68 passengers and four crew. Captain Katiwada would receive her certification for the new runway at Pokhara after completing the flight. The ATR-72500 was a 15-year-old twin-engine turboprop first delivered to Yeti Airlines in 2019, having flown previously with Nok Air and Kingfisher Airlines. Opened just 14 days earlier, the new airport at Pokhara became Nepal's third international airport and is around 3 kilometers or 1.9 miles east of the old airport. At around 10.50 am, after an uneventful flight north from Kathmandu, Yeti Airlines Flight 691 was in the latter stages of descent into Pokhara. Cleared to land on runway 30, this would take the aircraft on the most direct approach to the tarmac. However, to complete the new runway certification for Captain Katiwada, the crew requested runway 12, bringing them in from the opposite direction. At 10.56am, the crew lowered the landing gear and extended the flaps to the 15 degrees position. The flaps of an aircraft are used during landing or takeoff. 
extending the flaps, generates more lift at slower speeds, helping the aircraft maintain stability and control during takeoff, approach and landing. On the ATR-72500, the flaps are controlled with a lever located on the throttle quadrant situated on the central console. The engine power levers are to the left, the engine condition lever is in the middle, and the flap control lever is on the right. This becomes important shortly. With the aircraft around 721 feet above ground level, Captain Chariwara disengaged the autopilot and requested that the senior training captain in the right-hand seat extend the flaps to 30, which he acknowledged by saying, flaps 30 and descending. But later analysis of the aircraft flight deck data recorder showed no movement of the flap lever at that time. However, the propeller rotation speed of both engines suddenly decreased and the torque reduced to almost zero. This is consistent with the propellers being put into the feathered condition. It appears senior training captain Kamal KC, instead of extending the flaps, had pulled the engine condition lever, feathering the propellers. So what happens when the props are feathered? The propeller on the left is in the feathered position, the one on the right is not. While the angle of the feathered prop helps reduce drag, it cannot generate thrust even with the engine at full power. Ordinarily, a prop will only be feathered on the ground or after an in-flight engine failure to reduce the workload on the good engine. With both engines on flight 691 now in the feathered position, the plane could no longer produce thrust and neither pilot had caught the mistake. At around 10.57 am, the pilots received final landing clearance from air traffic control. Noticing the aircraft's speed had dramatically decreased, Captain Kariwara mentioned to a colleague twice there was no power coming from the engines. Later analysis of the flight deck data recorder shows the crew at this point increased the engines to full power. Regardless, we're both in the feathered position, this was like putting your foot flat to the floor while your car is in neutral. With the aircraft now dangerously slow, unable to sustain flight, and various warnings sounding in the flight deck, control was handed to the senior pilot. But by this point, the aircraft and all on board were already doomed. We're live in the CNN newsroom. I'm Jim Acosta in Washington, and we begin with tragedy in Nepal. At least 68 people are dead in the country's worst plane crash in 30 Moments years. Search and Before the crash, take a look at this. The plane rolling on its side while flying low over a populated area, and then this. Yeti Airlines Flight 691 had crashed, and all 72 on board had been killed. It was Nepal's worst aviation disaster since the crash of PIA Flight 268 in 1992. In the immediate aftermath of the accident, the new airport at Pokhara was temporarily closed, and the government declared a national day of mourning. One of the more unique aspects of the crash was, not only was the accident filmed by onlookers, but a Facebook live stream from within the cabin, which continued to stream even minutes after impact. On the 13th of February 2023, a preliminary report headed by the Nepalese government with participation from France's BEA was released. According to the investigation, the accident was caused by the engines being feathered due to the right-hand seat pilot's unintentional movement of the condition lever instead of the flap lever as intended. This resulted in the loss of speed and the eventual stall of the aircraft. Let me know your thoughts on this accident. Have you ever flown in Nepal? And has watching this video and learning of the frequency of major incidents within the country put you off flying if you were to visit? And as always, thanks for watching.